In a related story, after visiting dozens of cities in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Asia and Africa, the human rights torch relay has now arrived in Israel. This international campaign aims to bring an end to all human rights abuses in China ahead of the Olympic Games. Here's a report from Tel Aviv. The Global Human Rights Torch Relay arrived to Tel Aviv. The event started with a ceremony of religious leaders who publicly signed the petition aimed at stopping the killing and persecution in China. As a religious person, if we really, really want to pray, we should pray with our feet, we should pray with our actions, and we should go to those places that are not comfortable. We should go to those places that are not convenient. We should go to those places where people do not have the right to pray. To go to those places where people do not have the right to teach their children what they feel is important for them to teach. Dozens of supporters have participated in a march through Tel Aviv streets. Among them was Mrs. Jennifer Zhang, a victim of persecution in China, who came from Australia. There are hundreds of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners are still suffering torture, genocide or maybe murder for their vital organs. That's why I'm here today. David Kilgour, Canada's former Secretary of State for Asia Pacific, came to support the torch relay in Israel. I don't know how anybody that has respect for human rights would dream of going to the Olympic Games in Beijing next August. It's the last place on earth I would go to. Artists and celebrities have expressed their support by a voluntary performance. NTD, Tel Aviv, Israel.